Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In today's video, we'll be multiplying by three digit numbers. The first example will be a three digit number times a three digit number. And the second example will be a four digit number times a three digit number. I already made videos for multiplying by two digit numbers. If you want to see those videos, I'll link them in the cards above and also in the description box below and you can go and check them out but in this video we'll only be multiplying by three digit numbers so let's look at the first example here we have 125 times 253 now the first thing you'll need to do when you're starting is you need to go and write them neatly underneath each other so we have 125 and 253 so make sure you put your ones underneath each other your tens underneath each other and also your hundreds underneath each other this will make it a lot easier for you and also help you not to get confused along the way and then you have your multiplication and your two lines your two lines should be three spaces apart and I'll explain why so when you're multiplying by a three digit number, you're gonna take the number you're multiplying with, in this case, 253, and you're gonna separate it. So first, you'll get the answer for three times 125, and you'll write that answer directly underneath the first line. So next, you're gonna get the answer for 50 times 125, and that answer you're going to write in the second line directly underneath your first answer. And lastly, you're going to get the answer for 200 times 125. And that answer is going to be in the third line directly underneath your second answer. So now you have 3 times 125, 50 times 125 and 200 times 125. So all you need to do now is to add those three answers and you will have your final answer. So let's do this first example together. So like I said, we're first gonna get the answer for three times 125. So we start at the ones. So five times three is 15. So you write down your five, but your one you still need to carry over. Next, you multiply two by three. 2 times 3 is 6, but remember you carried over that 1, so you still need to add that 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. And next, you times 1 by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. So now you have the answer for 3 times 125. So next, you have to times 50 by 125. But before we can do that, there's two things I want you to remember. First of all, we already multiplied with the three and we used that one that we carried over. So we need to cancel it so we don't accidentally use it again. And the second thing I want you to remember is that we're multiplying by 50 and not by five. So we need to add a zero in the answer line to make sure that we're multiplying by 50 and not only by five. And now that we've written the zero, we can go ahead and just multiply the digits. So first, five times five is 25. You write down your five, but your two you need to carry over. And now you also see why it was so important to cancel that one, because now there has to be a two so that you don't get confused. Next, two times five. 2 times 5 is 10, but remember that 2 you carried over, so 10 plus 2 is 12. So you write on your 2, but you carry over the 1. And lastly, 1 times 5 is 5, plus that 1 you carried over is 6. So 50 times 125 is 6,250. So now we move on to 200 times 125. So again, remember that we are done with that two and that one that we carried over, so we need to cancel them. And the second thing I want you to remember is that we're now multiplying by 200 and not by two. 
So because we are multiplying with hundreds, with two hundreds, we need to add two zeros in the answer line before we can start multiplying the digits. So now that we've done that, now we can just start multiplying the digits. So first, five times two is 10. So you write down your zero, but you carry over the one. So now we have two times two and two times two is four, but remember that one you carried over, so it's five. And lastly, we have one times two. One times two is two, and we didn't carry anything over, so it's just two. So 200 times 125 is 25,000. So now that we have the answer for three times 125, five times 125, and 200 times 125, we can just add those three answers together to get your final answer. So remember when we are adding, we start at the ones and we go left. So first we have five plus zero plus zero, and that is five. Then we have seven plus five plus zero, and that is 12. So you write down the two, but you carry over the one. Now we have three plus two plus zero is five, but remember that one you carried over, so it's six. Now we have six plus five, that is 11. So you write down your one, carry over the other one. And lastly, we have two plus that one you carried over, so it's three. So 125 times 253 is equal to 31,625. And if you want to go and practice three digit numbers times three digit numbers, you can just check out in the description box below. I will leave a link for you to go and download a worksheet with a memo to go and practice three digit numbers times three digit numbers. So now let's move on to the example of the four digit number times the three digit number. So here we have 2,532 times 143. So remember the first thing you do is you're gonna write it neatly underneath each other and you make sure that your ones, tens and hundreds are directly and neatly underneath each other. And then you just write your multiplication with your two lines and remember there should be three spaces open between the two lines and now we can get started so remember your second number the one you're multiplying with you're going to split that number up and you're going to multiply separately with 3 40 and 100. so first you're going to get the answer for 3 times 2532 so we start at the ones so 2 times 3 is 6 Next, 3 times 3 is 9, and now 5 times 3, 5 times 3 is 15, you write down your 5, you carry over the 1, and lastly, 2 times 3 is 6, but remember you carried over the 1, so you need to add it, so it's 7. So 3 times 2532 is 7596. So now that we've done multiplying with 3, now we're going to multiply with 40. So 40 times 2532. So the first thing we do is we cancel that one we already worked with and we need to add a zero in the answer line because we're multiplying by 40 and not by 4. And now we can start. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. So you write on your 2 but you carry over the 1. 5 times 4 is 20, but we have that 1 we carried over, so it's 21. We write down the 1, we carry over the 2. And then lastly, 2 times 4 is 8, plus that 2 you carried over is 10. So you write down your 0, but you have nowhere to carry over the 1, so you also write the 1. So 2,532 times 40 is 101,280. So now that we are done multiplying by 3 and by 40, we need to multiply by 100. So 100 times 2532. So first we cancel all the numbers that we carried over and we add two zeros in our answer line because we're multiplying by 100 and not by 1. So now we can only multiply the digits. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3, 5 times 1 is 5, and lastly 2 times 1 is 2. 
So now we have our answer for 3, 40 and 100 times 2532. So all we have to do now is to add those three answers together to get your final answer. So remember with addition, we start at the ones and we work our way left. So 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. So you write on your 7, your 1 you carry over. 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9. Plus that 1 you carried over is 10. So you write down your 0, you carry over the 1. 7 plus 1 plus 3 is 11. Plus that 1 you carried over is 12. So you write down your 2, carry over the 1. And then 0 plus 5 is 5. Plus that 1 you carried over is 6. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So 2,532 times 143 is equal to 362,076. And there's also a worksheet in the description box below if you want to go and practice four digit numbers times three digit numbers. And there's also a memo going alongside this worksheet. So just a reminder to check out in the description box below for the link where you can go and download the two worksheets one for three digit numbers times three digit numbers and the other one for four digit numbers times three digit numbers with memos and if you haven't already and this video helped you please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video goodbye